guys, this is Lara Alcantara, this is Latina Dynamite, and I am your host for the show today, and I'm with Enrique Sapene, who is a telenovela actor in Miami, and he's the villain of My Life is a Telenovela on Fridays at 10 p.m. on WeTV, so don't miss it. You do not need cable for this. So, hello, how are you? Good. Welcome to New York City. Thank you. Oh, my God. I love this place. I know, I know you love this place, especially, like, the way that you're here right now, we are taking care of you. I mean, he's taken. He's been driven everywhere. He's having a lot of fun. He's on his press tour. Oh, we're doing press for my Lesa Telenovelas. We're working super hard, meeting with outlets, just talking to people about the show, Absolutely. pushing it everywhere. Uh -huh. We want you guys to watch. We please. need you to watch. So tell yes. us a little bit about my life as a telenovela. Well, it's a very simple concept. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much a show about a group of telenovela actors and how our lives are crazier than the telenovelas that you watch on TV. How could that be possible? Uh, You're Latina. <laughs> Isn't this show called Latina Dynamite? Yes, okay. and there's a lot of drama Trust involved. Me, this Latina has a <laughs> lot of dynamite. She knows telenovela. She knows telenovela really well. Well, I know him, so I mean. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> but yeah, but it follows us, you know, ups, downs. And what's so interesting about this show is that it gives us the opportunity to present us to the general market, to the American market, and show both sides of the coin when we're in camera and when we're not. So okay. our private lives, you know, it's like our families are in the show, our pets are da da da. You know, like we're shooting at the studios at Telemundo. Telemundo gave us the most incredible access that you can even imagine. I mean, sometimes on the takes for the telenovelas, you know, you have three cameras or whatever the shot set. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even tell which one was from my left telenovela or which one was from the actual telenovela. Really? So they're that they're rolling everything that all the time. Team. Oh yeah, are you kidding me? <laughs> Teleno on reality. Trust me, you're on the floor bleeding, and they're like, <laughs> keep on shooting, keep on shooting. <laughs> He's dying, but it's okay. I need an ambulance. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Just <laughs> bleed a test. little more. Bleed a little more. <laughs> so yeah. tell us about your co-stars. Who are the people that you're working with? Well, seriously, we have an amazing cast. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of these people have been around you know, forever, ever since I can remember. One of them is my really good friend, Cece Fleitas. Yes, we all know her, it. of course, from yes. Salado Gigante, mm -hmm. and of course of her career, like, you know, covers of Playboy, all those things. Ooh. And uh, <coughs> Liliana Rodriguez uh, Morillo, ah, okay. who is the daughter of Lila Morillo. Yes. And El Puma, Venezuelan El icons Puma. in the entertainment <laughs> industry in Venezuela. <laughs> Then, you know, there's like Gustavo Pedraza, who's like, you know, Mexican telenovela, you know, kind of hunk guy, you know, like. He's, yeah. He's a good looking guy. He's a good looking guy. He guys. gets the girls. Well, he has a beautiful wife, too. He gets the um, girl and he steals them. Uh, yes. And then Al Alina Roberts, who is stunning. She's stunning. stunning. I mean, this girl is traffic stopping, stunning. Of course, Maria Raquel. Who oh, who's a very interesting character of the very show. Very controversial. Very She's controversial. She's a very talented lady, too. Um, you know, like you guys have to watch the show. She's her life is a real telenovela and has always been all of our lives are telenovelas, but Raquenes telenovela is like <laughs> epic, you know? It's epic. And um, so we get involved in her life and I do a lot of digging and trying to bring you guys the, the real story because I'm a giver. That's just who I am. <laughs> that's just that's just who he is. It's gonna be eight one hour episodes. Okay, because I saw two. Yeah. There's a lot of throwing stuff. A lot of smacking and a lot of like little gossiping. So little. Well, a little. lot of gossiping. So Wait, I've known this lady for <laughs> a long time. You have I've never seen thrown. her throwing stuff <laughs> like nobody's business. So don't try to play it like, <laughs> like this doesn't happen. Um, yeah, there is uh, some throwing of things. There's a lot of making out and kisses a lot and of sex making and semi nudeness and. Um, <laughs> fights and drama and uh, and love and love you know and how did you become the bad guy of this whole thing you're like what? the little villain you're the hidden villain of the whole story the little villain well are you making a height joke now um <laughs> sorry <laughs> no i, I mean, uh, yeah he used to I think like sometimes <laughs> <laughs> what? i'm gonna tell you it's like it's like when madonna said you ever heard madonna said she's like if 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 being ambitious is being a bitch Then, then I'm the I, biggest bitch. Then I'm the biggest bitch. And Absolutely. that's how I'm going to say. I mean, I did learn a lot through this experience. Mm -hmm. Just angry. You could just go and be angry. Yeah. And not have a problem with it. Yeah. Instead of well, like... you can't do that at home with no. your mother. So you can do it on well, camera. Well, I think it's, it's healthier to get it out of your system. Of course. And I, I think agree. it's worse when like you, you just pack things up and it's like, you know, like you're just like little things that yeah. you're accumulating. And then all of a sudden that blows up. Of course. And you end up killing your husband. 
you know? Oh, God. It's like, there's crazy stuff like that. And then know? we went for sushi. <laughs> <laughs> and see. <laughs> yeah. Cut. For somebody like us, who can jump back and forth between the two markets, it's a huge blessing. Because, for example, the, the you know, mm. like in LA, you go through dry spells where you can't even get seen on an audition. And then to be able to go to Florida or Mexico or whatever and work doing Absolutely. what you love. Exactly. It's a blessing. Yes. I mean, there's nothing like doing what you love. Exactly. And it doesn't, it, we're entertainers. Exactly. And that's what we do. And, and it doesn't matter in what form, shape, color, whatever. Well, that's what we're here for. And you know what? Life is just one. That's you got to live it. You got to go for it. So it's not a dress rehearsal. Life is definitely not a dress rehearsal. So I decided to just get on a plane and just go and try my luck and audition and did things. We've done some great stuff. Yeah. This girl and I, our first uh, theater production was oh in my Los God, Angeles that's true. with, hello, none other but America Ferreira. Exacto, America Ferreira, that's before, true. This is way before. With the California Youth Theater. Yeah, way before Real Women Have Curves or before Ugly Betty was even, even in the picture. I know, I remember. She, yeah. We were very, we were young. Yeah. I mean, ha, do, have you kept in touch with her? No. No. No, no, I mean, America. Okay, America, if you're watching, this is Enrique. <laughs> And Lara. And Lara. We were with we you. We were with you. We sang Oliva. She's, she's, she's amazing. She's amazing. I mean, she's just such a great representation of Latino women. Yes. In every shape, way, and form. And she's so talented. And I think she's done such a great job in she's hearing her messages mm -hmm. and, and, and just being a role model. Going into your personal life just a little bit. Okay. Are you married? Of course I'm married. You're oh, married. Yeah. I know you're married. Well, but you know, they don't know that. Yes, so have you ever thought of like a family? Like is that something eventually. that would be eventually oh my god eventually you know me where's your husband from is he american american he's yeah. american yeah. so are you an american citizen no but i'm a resident legal resident legal resident just to put it out there legal resident yeah, very legal resident we're gonna play a game it's called have you ever okay all right are you ready of course I'm you ready. ready guys okay so have you ever stolen something yes what did you steal i stole a can of coke <laughs> Once, coke. when I was a kid, and I regret it to this day. Why do you because regret it? Because my parent, my dad found out, and it wasn't pretty. It really was not pretty. It was not pretty. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Yeah. All yeah. right. Big mistake. Huge. Ha have you ever had a threesome? Of course. Really? Who has? God, everybody I ask this question, they're like, yeah, of course. I'm like, I'm missing out on something. Of course. You have been dumb. I'm not even going to get yeah, but You're not going to get into it, like have. females, males, yeah. well. combination. <laughs> it was just fun, guys. It was fun. <laughs> have you ever had a crush on a co-star? That's a good question. I mean, there's people that you like, wow, they're hot or whatever, but... But like a crush. Like, you know, really. you have to do the scene with this person. I think like it's like when you, when you... Well, the thing about it, yes, it's an interesting question because is that, you know, when particularly when, you have, when you're playing somebody's boyfriend or husband or whatever, you have to see them that way, you know? Of course. And, uh, and I always try to look for like what I find the most attractive. Do you believe in gossip or do you like to go to the source before making a decision on what side you're taking? Um, I'll go to the source. Okay. There's something fun about gossiping. There is something fun about it. There's gossip. something fun about it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, as long as you're not <laughs> doing it maliciously where something's gonna be like really, really super bad, yeah, gossip. And my grandma used to say, you know, as long as they're talking, who cares? Exactly. You know, let them talk. <laughs> say let good things, talk. bad things, just say Whatever. it. As long as they're talking, that's great. Yeah, when they're not talking, on the then table. you have to get worried. <laughs> yeah. If you had to change something about your career, what would it be? Or if you would? Well, I am. I mean, the only thing that I think is just like, you know, for people, I think they open your minds and, 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 and look at all colors, you know? And and um, what I want to do is like, if as you know, I would love to create more opportunities for people like us, mm -hmm. you know, where we have Absolutely. chances. Yeah. And I think that we all need to work together on that and creating those opportunities. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because the power, we have the power to make the change. We have the power, guys, to make the change. This is very important. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go because I think it's getting a little late. And he has to run to has some to great event no, no, no. and uh, promotion. Promotion, promotion, promotion. <laughs> My life is a telenovela on WeTV Please, guys, at 10 p.m. This is Latina Dynamite, your host, Lara Alcantara, with Super Enrique Sapene. Sing. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. So don't miss it. Thank See you. ya. <laughs> Mi vida. <laughs>